Fans here at the Jack Parker Rink, again, a Serena, have been asked to stand in the stay in their seats because the Terriers legend, Jack Parker, will have his number six retired here in just a few minutes. 40 seasons as the head coach here at Boston University. 897 wins, third most among Division I coaches. Three national titles, seven Hockey East championships, 21 Beanpot titles. We were calling it the Jack Parker Invitational for years. 24 NCAA tournament appearances, three-time Penrose Trophy winner, coach of the year, coached 24 Olympians during the course of his career. And an influence on, on so many players, from stars to fourth liners on his team to extras. Uh, you know, he really touched the lives of a lot of guys that played here. And it's such a positive way. Well, and, and one of the things that's been so much fun for me as a fan in this town has been watching the relationship between Jack Parker and Jerry York, two guys who played high school hockey hockey together, competed collegiately together, have coached against each other for years, and they've got such a strong friendship. And, and such mutual respect. And obviously, if you're going to be good friends with anybody, you have to have that respect for each other. And they have it. They they have respect for hockey, the, the institution of hockey, the you know the, the game and what it stands for. They, they've coached it the right way. Uh, they believe in being you know, do it going about things the right way. And, and Jack Parker, um, I know he's enjoying himself post-coaching, but I also know he enjoyed himself immensely while coaching, a true passion for it. You see the BU Terriers are coming back out of their locker room and uh, will take their seats on the BU bench. They all want to be a part of this. They want to see it, and I promise you their coach, David Quinn, wants them to see it as well. Uh, not to too to many guys, as, as you pointed Hockey's out, Billy, there are, what, only five seniors on this team. So uh, not a lot of guys who played for Jack Parker here, but a number of them. Well, yeah, I remember, I mean, if, if, if Coyle, Clendenning, yeah. Nieto, or if, big if, but, you know, the way of the world now of, of top players, they most don't stay four years, which is such a shame, but don't get me going on that right now. But that's the way it is right now. You, you recruit a lot of players in a class, and you're lucky if you can get 50, 60 percent of them uh, to finish. But, yes, uh, um, one of the yeah, that's a nice little moment right there. In the history of a player that has play. played for right there getting, getting a hug from his old coach. We've got a uh, tribute coming Jack up Parker that they're going to show here at University. the, uh, at the Aganis Arena. Not hockey program, but the entire university. The Somerville native has been associated with Terrell Hockey for over 50 years. First arriving on the campus in 1963, after attending Catholic Memorial High School. His varsity teams at BU combined for a 72 wins winning the B part in all three years, and he served as team captain his senior year. He wore the number six jersey for a reason outside of hockey. He was always idolized Boston Celtics legend Bill Russell. After graduation, he served as assistant coach and a freshman coach before being named the 10th coach in program history in December of 1973. The rest is history. He coached numerous All-Americans and Olympians during his time behind the Terrier bench and made sure the BU program remained one of the very best in not only college hockey, but all of college sports. A three-time NCAA Division I Hockey Coach of the Year, Parker ranks third all-time among college hockey coaches in 897 career wins. That total marks the most of any college hockey coach at the same institution. And he also holds the record for NCAA tournament appearances as a coach with 24. He led the Terriers to three NCAA champions in 1978, 1995, and 2009 in addition to 11 conference titles and 21 Big Park crowns. Shortly after Coach Parker announced his retirement, Boston University and his board of trustees planned a retirement of their own. And that is why we are here tonight. At this time, we'd like to welcome Coach Parker, his wife Jacqueline, his daughters Allison and Jacqueline, his son-in-law, Scott, and his grandsons, Jake, Shane, and Ryan.
Ladies and gentlemen, Jack is joined on the ice tonight by Assistant Vice President and Director of Athletics, Mike Lynch, who will say a few words before turning the mic over to Coach Parker. First of all, we'd like to thank everybody here for coming out tonight and spending part of your evening with us for this uh, historic ceremony. In just a few moments, we're going to be raising Coach Parker's jersey to the top of Aganis Arena. And it's probably fitting that we do that, given that every hockey banner that you see in the building, he touched in some way. From his time as assistant coach in the 1971 national championship team to his really touching relationship with Travis Roy, Travis is here somewhere tonight, to the to the 2009 National Championship. <laughs> Coach Parker has had an uncountable number of historic moments here as our hockey coach and as a player here at BU. But beyond that, he's played a really important role on our campus. And on behalf of Todd Clip, our senior vice president, Bob Brown, the president of Boston University, and the entire institution, we want to thank Jack for his 40 plus years of commitment to Boston University and to the commitment of all of our student athletes, for all the young men that have played in our hockey program and everything that he's taught them, all the mentoring he's done, and everything he's done to help them to achieve great things in their life. So I'm really proud to be able to say tonight that we are truly going to recognize Coach Parker for history from the rink to the rafters. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Well, I was certainly touched when Bob Brown announced at the uh, spring trustees meeting that they were going to retire my number. And then I thought, it's kind of weird because it was my rule that no number should be retired. Uh, you know, I wanted uh, Sean McEachern to wear 15 after Ricky Mahar wore 15, or for Jack O'Callaghan to wear 17 after Bob Marquis wore 17. So we never retired any numbers at BU because I thought it was great for somebody else to wear somebody else who was a great player here. Uh, so it's going against my rule to have it done. The only other number we retired, obviously, is Travis's number for, for special reasons. reasons. And, and, you, and you all know, and I can assure you, that in reality, we're still going along with the same rule because we're not retiring my number because I was a great player. <laughs> we are retiring my number because I was here for 40 years as the hockey coach. Uh, it's hard to remain on a job for 40 years, especially in sports. And the reason why that happened, very frankly, is because the university, the administrators, uh, the di director of athletics of all the people I worked with all those years, they wanted to have a good hockey team here. They supported the team uh, with scholarships, with, with Walter Brown Arena and now again in Arena. They always put forth their best effort to try to make this a first-class organization. And that paid off for us. But I really think the reason why I kept my job so long was because we had great players. And, uh, and the only reason, really, the only reason why, why we had great players is because we had so many great assistant coaches here, some of whom went on to be great coaches on their own. And there's a bunch of my assistant coaches up in the coaches' box tonight. And I really appreciate they being, them being here. A lot of my former players in the box tonight. And I really appreciate them being here. 
Play, players make programs, and I was blessed to have a lot of great players here, and I think that's the reason why I'm, I know that's the reason why I'm standing here. I can't tell you how much it means to me just to have my number retired, but it means that much more to have it next to Travis's number. Uh, so the two of us, frankly, I think, I think Travis was a little teed off that I was getting my number retired. He wanted to be the only one, but, but it's really something special for me to have my number retired with Travis Roy. So for, for all the fans here tonight, for all the fans that ever attended a game on the road at, Boston, at the Boston Arena, at the uh, Walter Brown Arena, at the Garden, all the places we played, and most assuredly at the Gannis Arena, thank you very much for supporting the team for all those years. We had a great time, and I had a great time being your hockey coach. Thank you very, very much. And now, the, the best for last, the major reason why I could do this all these years is because of my wife and my family. And I thank you all very much. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give Coach Parker a resounding Terrier thank you. It's now time to officially honor your incredible and long-lasting impact on this university over the last half century. We'd like Coach Parker's grandsons to start the count in a countdown before unveiling the banner and officially retiring the number six. Jane, Shane, and Ryan, the microphone is yours. Five, four, three, two, one. He got emotional more than once, but especially when he talked about Travis Roy, who he's pointing to right now from down on the ice. A lot of his former players are up in that suite with Travis. Jay Pandolfo standing behind him. You see Mike Greer off to the side as well. They all wanted to be here. They wanted to see it. Jack Parker's number six is hanging in the rafters. His number is retired, and it has been a great night already. Still more to come at Boston University.